Developing a new drug and releasing it onto the market is a long process with many stages. The first stage in a drug's development is in vitro screening. In vitro screening is when scientists use isolated cells to screen different chemical compounds against a disease to assess their potential as a cure. A perfect compound rarely comes from these early tests. Instead, scientists select the most effective compounds and combine them to create a lead compound. This lead compound then goes through a process called lead optimization, where it's made into a new chemical entity. Once this is done, the drug is ready for medical trials. The next stage is in vivo testing. This is where the new chemical entity, or NCE, is tested on animals. Scientists use this stage to develop dosage suggestions for the clinical trials on humans. In planning clinical trials, pharmaceutical companies work with an academic research unit or a contract research company. Together, they decide who the drug will be tested on and if it will be tested against a placebo or another drug. In phase one, the drug is tested on between 20 to 100 people. These people are usually paid volunteers. In phase two, the same tests are done, but on a larger group of people. It's in this phase that the development process sometimes fails. The drug might be discovered to be less effective than expected or to have harmful side effects. Phase three of the trial is the most important. In this phase, up to 3,000 people are involved. If the results of these phase three trials are satisfactory, a report is submitted to the regulatory body in the countries where the drug is to be sold. Once the drug has been approved and is being sold in pharmacies, the phase four trial begins. During this phase, the drug company monitors how safe the drug is and offers ongoing technical support. Drug development may be a long process, but it's a worthwhile one. Every year, millions of people's lives are saved because of the new drugs and treatments released onto the market.